Yes, I just wanted to, I just want to add one small dimension. When you're talking about uh, arbitral process, the, 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 the facility and, and the ease and expedition, which uh, electronic mode of transactions will have an arbitral process. We're discussing that. I just reading somewhere that, uh, let, let me read it a few sentences. Uh, I made a note of them. For instance, there are this blockchain technology and uh, all those related to technological developments. I find there are new efforts that are underway to create a built-in dispute resolution mechanism in smart contracts. There are a number of, uh, I think, software developments that are emerging. It is blocked. For instance, I find some games like Open Bazaar or Materium or Sagewise and so on and so forth. So you have built-in dispute resolution mechanism, which will be become part of a, a contract drafting and execution. And it will also, therefore, consequently facilitate an expeditious arbitration process can also be considered. I think we can uh, probably look at the, the, the possibilities of this developing in our country. Uh, and uh, having said that, uh, I think one more aspect of question came in the arbitration process context, the, uh, whether there is a notarization required and so on and so forth. We have the 20th century Fox uh, Corporation case in 2003 where uh, taking a evidence through audio visual methods and the court said even what can be taken through a uh, through a digital forum so all those requirements are made possible now. so we don't need to feel that there is a disadvantage in going ahead with the electronic method of transaction so please you can go ahead with your question and ask.